Hey everyone, this is Mayor Constantine Anthony here with another episode of The Mayor Show. We're out at Valley Skate Park, open seven days a week for skateboarding, scootering, and BMX biking. We're going to meet with Coco Atama, a local Burbank resident who's been skating here for quite a while and has a special story to tell. But first, I want to remind everyone, whether you're on two wheels or four, make sure you wear your helmet and your other safety gear. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're out here at Valley Skate Park with Coco, the blind thrasher. How are you doing today? Pretty squishy, and you? Good, good. I'm doing well. So you actually grew up out here, yeah? Yeah, I've been born and raised in Burbank. I've moved around a bit and I've come back here, but I think my first day right here at this park was maybe 15, 16 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're very experienced at uh, all of the skateboarding, which is interesting to me because you're actually blind is that right yes it is skateboarding has always been a piece of my life that i decided i wanted to be a constant in my life but i guess i was very lazy complacent when i was sighted i didn't take anything seriously thus i didn't really follow my dreams so hard and so when i lost my sight i began to feel first i was a little sad but then i decided it was time for me to make all these dreams a reality. I want to make my life about skateboarding, so it's time to do it. I want to go pro one day, so it's time to do it. You mentioned going pro. Is that part of your long-term goals? Yes. So my dream is to be a pro in every sense of the word. I want there to be a whole brand surrounding me, and not for the reason you would expect. I don't care about money or recognition or validation or any of those things. I want to do it so that anyone out there knows that they can. It could be someone who's blind, someone who's deaf, someone who's in a wheelchair. It doesn't matter. I want them to see what I accomplished and that will push them to go for their dreams because no one deserves to feel like they can't. Well, you know, I'm actually autistic and so I would love to be much better at skateboarding than I already am and you know the stuff that you're talking about and the stuff I've seen you do on Instagram is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit worrisome getting on that board. There's a lot of fear and anxiety surrounding maybe trying out your first time skateboarding. How would you tell folks that you overcome fear? Fear's always going to be there and the trick is how you use it because People come up to me and talk to me like they say, oh, things like you're, you're fearless or you just live without fear. Oh no, I live with very much fear. <laughs> but the trick is I don't let the fear slow me down. I make the fear keep me sharp. You're gonna fall, accept it, trust it. You're gonna fall. But if you put both your feet on your board and you trust in your heart that you're gonna land and then maybe you slip out and you take a little tumble, you just took a little tumble, that's it. But if you chicken out and you fall, your body isn't ready for it, so that's when you get hurt. Why are adaptive sports so important for society and our culture right now? Because people are already counting us out. People are already selling us short, as in people with disabilities. And that goes to mental health. Life doesn't end if your vision does. Life doesn't stop moving because your legs do. Life doesn't go quiet because your hearing does. We are here to continue forward and to show everybody that you can, that losing a sense is not the end of the world, that being born without one doesn't make you weaker than those around you. If you wanna skate, you skate. If you wanna dance, you dance. If you wanna bake cookies, you bake cookies. Nice. I wanna ask you about a little musical called The Braille Legacy and how do you honor that legacy while also finding your voice. So tell me a little bit about the Braille Legacy and why the story is so important. No matter where the Braille Legacy was put on, they never had a blind actor playing Louis Braille. Oh. And the writer would argue for this. At every theater company he would say, at least, if you're not gonna give me an entire blind cast, give me a blind Louis Braille at least. He came to the US and he found a theater company called Theater by the Blind, who I was working with at the time. He said, this is perfect. 
we not only now have a blind Louis Braille, we have an entire blind theater company. The Braille legacy follows Louis Braille, the creator of the Braille alphabet, from his childhood all the way to his death. And what he did along the way to empower not only the Royal Institute for Blind Youth, but every blind person moving forward. His invention is a value to all of us to this day. So in your personal success with skateboarding, you've done some competitions, uh, you've won some prizes. I went to Tampa for my first ever big boy contest as part of the Grind for Life series. Wow. Where I would be competing against adaptive skaters whose names I recognized. Nervous as all get out, not knowing what to expect. But as an underdog, I did what all underdogs do, and I surprised everyone. With a double podium, I took third in bowl and second in street. Wow. With no experience in this park except for one day of practice. That's incredible. And so, since then, a lot of other companies have been taking notice. I went from 10,000 followers on Instagram to almost 100,000 overnight. And that was really the start of something big. You know, that's where I first found you, was on Instagram. So you have a huge following online. How does that feel? What do you, what do you hope to get out of getting this huge uh, reach on the internet? Sure, it gives me the things people want. It gives me the knowledge to know that I'm doing something good. And it gives me that validation for myself. But the most important one to me is that it's a tangible measure of the difference I'm making in people's lives. I get comments and DMs daily. So your Instagram has all kinds of videos of you, obviously skateboarding, but also teaching Braille, playing the guitar, and one of you meeting Stevie Wonder? Yes, that was actually something I wasn't ready for. It was kind of a dream. And you know the kind of dream you don't have until you have it, and then when you have it, you don't realize you've had it until you've had it? <laughs> 10 times in my life have I been in the same room as Stevie Wonder, and three out of those 10 times been standing right next to him. But we, neither of us knew each other was there until after leaving the area. But this is number 11. His people who were walking with him were like, it's Coco. And he knew who I was instantly because he was in the front row at the Braille Legacy at opening night. I was starstruck. I was flattered. I was all kinds of emotions. Can I hug you? God bless you. <laughs> it was unreal. And he gave me a piece of advice. What would you say to anybody out there who ever has a dream and isn't quite sure if they can or should or what? What do you tell those people? Never, never let fear put your dreams to sleep. And since then, he's reached out and he said that he wants that video to never be forgotten. He doesn't want it to just be a flash in the pan like it happened and then it disappears. Speaking of famous blind musicians, I see you've got your guitar here. Oh, I'm nowhere near that good, but <laughs> I, I can noodle. I noodle. Well, that's a gorgeous instrument you've got there. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing.
Well, okay, it has been both inspiring and motivating to meet Coco. I want to thank him for his positive attitude and his tireless advocacy for people with disabilities and the importance of adaptive sports. You can follow him on social media at Blind Thrasher. And there he goes. Okay, you can join us here at Valley Skate Park in Burbank, 1625 North Valley Street. I'll see you there. Take care, Burbank. Till next time. Hey, Mayor, is this the way to City Hall? This is the way.